So now we are going to plan A. Nothing really existed back then. They just made up this crap as they went along. 2019 was the year of the protest. They shut it down in 2020 with a mysterious sickness around. What the hell am I talking about? Well, here we go. Boris Johnson caught going to a party and now they're scrapping. So this is breaking the COVID. What is going on? Oh, Plan E! Whoa, what's Plan E? What the hell is Plan E? All made up bullshit. Okay. Yeah! Now he looks like the freaking hero for eliminating and going back to Plan A. Now he looks like, let's put this back here. He looks like the freaking hero. We can return to Plan A in England and allow Plan B regulation. What the fuck was Plan E in the first place? To expire. Yeah, hero, look at that. Hero, BJ, 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 Boris Johnson, BJ. As a result from the start of Thursday next week, Mandatory certification will end. Oh, mandatory certification. So, mandatory certification. Well, this guy goes to a party, blows his cover, gets caught, and now mandatory certification. You got, what's his, what's his, that idiot, that, sw that sweater wearer there? Uh, Bill Gates. Oh, we got to walk it back. It's a seasonal flu now. They're walking it back because 2019 was the year of the protest. Yeah. Organizations can, of course, choose to use the NHS COVID pass voluntarily, but we will end the compulsory use of COVID status certification in England. Yeah. From now on, Look at the hero! The is no longer asking people to work from home. BJ! Yeah. BJ! Yeah. BJ! Yeah. BJ. Employers have had arrangements for returning to the office, and having looked at the data carefully, the Cabinet concluded that once regulations lapse, the government will no longer mandate the wearing of face masks anywhere. Yeah. This guy's a hero! A national hero! Woo! Mr. Speaker, from, from tomorrow, from tomorrow we will no longer require face masks in classrooms. And the department Canada's so screwed. We got 90 million doses! Areas. In the country at large, we will continue to suggest the use of face coverings in enclosed or crowded spaces. We got 90 million doses! Contact with people you don't normally meet, but we will trust the judgment of the British people and no longer criminalize anyone who chooses not to wear one. The government will also ease restrictions further on visits to care homes and my right honorable friend, the Secretary of State, for help. There we go. The real Mexican hero. Sorry, the real uh, UK hero there. BJ. Boris Johnson easing back and eliminating um, measures that were put in place for something that was very questionable from the start. And now he looks like the damn hero. Walking it back. Gets caught at a party. Now he's got to walk it the F back or he's going to have to step down. What does he do? He wants to keep power. So he's not stepping the F down. He's staying here. We're going to be covering this tonight in depth on Mike in the Night. Ignore the titles on, on Odyssey that say whatever it says, because those are uh, shows that were put in place weeks before, because we have to put a holder in there so you guys know we're coming live, right? So let's see what's going on here. Minimize this here. That's on our uh, Discord if you guys want to join us on our Discord. And there it is right there. All Plan B COVID restrictions, including wearing masks to end in England. Oh, my God. Plan B. That's actually a music group, by the way. PM says Plan B measures. Oh, my God. They're making this crap up as they go along. We'll stop January 26th. Okay, wait a minute. Why can't it stop January 29th? That's the question a lot of scientists are asking. And compulsory self-isolated for people of what? A, okay, here he goes. And Boris Johnson has announced the end of all COVID measures introducing to combat Omicron variant. Compulsory mask wearing on public transport and shops. Guidance to work from home. Vaccine certificates from the next week. So we just heard it there. There it is. They are shutting it down. They're walking it the F back. Like we say on, uh, see on Odyssey, we just kind of open up and kind of say what we have to say but they're opening it f they're opening it the f back they're opening it back it's it's reopening here he comes to save the day that means that bj is on the way so what exactly are they walking back well they're walking back 
an incredible amount of misinformation from medical to all kinds of bizarro shit, mainstream media. The mainstream media, yay! They're all on the hook for this. You think it's going to end now because they say it's going to... No, no, no. Now the people, the innocent, the people that had to to deal with the brunt of this, the loss of business, the damaged families, the, the, the loss of real estate, the loss of homes, the loss of uh, homelessness, uh, suicides. This, it's just getting warmed up. They can walk it back all they want. Because 2022 will be the year of the protest, my friends. 2021 was the year of the blood clot. 2020 was the year of the lockdown. 2019 was the year of the protest. And 2018 was the year of the repo markets and artificially low interest rates. 2017 was the year of, the, uh, of Operation Twist and artificially even lower interest rates. And all those years competing for money launderers to come in and take over the English-speaking world. In 2019, people got fed up, and a good proportion of the world was in protest in 2019. 2020, they kind of shut it right down, especially in Hong Kong, France, Lebanon, uh, Algeria, all kinds of countries. All of South America, except Honduras, was protesting. Uh, Mexico, protests across America. It was just out of control. They needed something to shut it down because the leaders were shaking in their boots. So what is he rolling back? He looks like the great Mexican hero. Sorry, the great UK hero here, BJ. Thank you, BJ, for doing this and getting caught at a party. So this way it's going to wear it not wearing a mask and partying it up and showing people how it's done. Because now, because you screwed up, Canada's screwed. What's going to happen with Canada now? Canada needs to push this forward for another seven, eight elections. Canada needs to move this forward. They need to keep going. They need to triple down. We got 90 million and we got 90 million. Uh, we got 90 million doses coming in. Yeah. So what are they going to do in Canada? Canada and Australia? You guys are screwed. I'm in Canada. Australia, you're screwed. So is New Zealand. How are they going to walk at the F back? No certificates needed. So why did you take those jabs for in the first place? Trust the science. I trust God and I trust Jesus Christ. This is the science I trust right here. See this finger? This finger goes up because the science says so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Trust the science. Woo! Let me know. Mike Martins on Mike in the Night tonight. Come and join us tonight. It's going to be real good on Odyssey. Link below. I have spoken.